Hey Kermit, shut up. What's going on guys? Today, bringing back the OG flare fishing fan videos. You guys know I do this every year. I think I've done this for the last four years straight. And I almost contemplated, I was like, you know, I feel like I've kind of like outgrown these videos. But then like I, I go back and read the comments in the videos from like the previous years and like they're great. You guys really eat them up. So today I am going over my top five favorite summertime baits. Now in the summer, especially, I mean, there's probably 30 baits that I throw on a regular basis that I kind of rotate around. But if, if you had to say, you know, Flair, you've only got five baits. You can only use five baits. You can only take five baits on the water. Which baits would you take? These are the five. So that's hopefully that kind of makes it make sense for you guys because like I really hate narrowing it down and taking out certain baits. So don't think that these are the only five baits that work in the summer. But for me personally, these are like the baits I would go to a lake if I could only have five baits. So anyways, I'm gonna shut up. But before I get started right here, we got the MTV Pro Box for the month of June. Now, for those of you guys that love bass fishing like myself, if you wanna discover new baits and try new baits and actually try baits that you can't get anywhere else, the MTB exclusive baits can be found in the Mr. Tackle Box. Now I will link it down below if you guys wanna check Mr. Tackle Box out for the very first time. You get $10 off, you use promo code Guggen. It's a great Father's Day gift and actually right now you guys know, if you guys are watching this right when I upload, that Father's Day is this weekend. Now Mr. Tackle Box has a sale going on, 5% off all subscriptions, so that will be linked down below as well. If you guys wanna get your father this box as as a, as a gift and you know give them a subscription give them a year's worth if you guys want a discount whatever I will link that down below you guys check it out anyways we're gonna quickly go through this box just to see you know what came in the month of June for Mr. Dr. Box versus like what my top five favorite baits would be we're gonna kind of compare compare notes just a little bit so these are just you know what's inside the box some stickers nothing too crazy here but right here we're gonna start off with the Lucky Craft this is a gunfish. Now, I actually, I fished with this a lot in South Dakota and, uh, and caught a ton of fish, and that video will be on their channel soon. Uh, but a topwater bait, huge, huge, huge player in the summer baits game. That is, uh, that's bait number one. We got a, uh, let's see, the original Pilot X. This is a Lucky John. It's a little, a little crankbait, see? It's a MTB exclusive right there. So the only place you can get this is through Mystery Tackle Box. So this goes zero to two and a half feet. So a crankbait, a crankbait is a super good bait. You guys have known the videos I've been dropping, I've been fishing crankbaits on rocks. That dude would absolutely slay shallow cranking on the rocks, like especially early mornings is really good in the summer. So that that's another bait. So next we have a Biospawn, Vilecroft, Orange Vilecroft, so flipping bait. I mean, flipping bait's pretty generic, you know, you'd. Put it on Texas rig, you flip it out there. It's a, an amazing bait in the summer because all the fish, as you can tell, we got trees, we got lily pads. This bait would work pretty awesome through there. Next, we have a Lunker City. What is this? A little sluggo? Yes, sluggo. So basically, if you guys, if you guys don't know what this is, it is a, uh, it's a version of a stick bait. It's kind of a do nothing bait, but it catches a lot of fish. So again, Texas rig, you can drop shot it. If you're up north, you drop shot this thing and uh, you can catch some fish like that. And actually this, believe it or not, the chartreuse does work very well in the summer. It's like a hot color when the fish are really active. It works. Next, we got an optimum bait. So this looks a uh, little swim bait. So again, shad, summertime, all the shad get grouped up. That imitates a shad perfectly. And to go on top of all this stuff, giving you a bottle of liquid mayhem this is scent that you put on your plastics to all your baits and basically if a fish is nearby or it grabs the bait it's going to hang on longer because it's going to taste and f and just feel in their mouth they're going to their senses will be tingling with realness with this you know it's going to give it that real life like instead of them biting this and realizing it's a piece of rubber they're going to think they just crunched a worm, you put this stuff on. So anyways, that's that's just generally it. Really quick, I just wanna go through this. They're helping me out with this video, so huge thanks to those guys. But I'm telling you guys, Father's Day gift, this is the gift. You guys really wanna look into this. They have a discount going on right now. Go check it out, link down below. And uh, anyways, let's get into the top five baits that I would use for the summer. All right, so here we go. Here are my top five baits. I wanna start with top water, then to moving baits, and then to bottom baits, and then to finesse. So that's kind of the, how it's gonna go. So. You guys already know, especially by the thumbnail you guys already saw, but you guys already know me and frogs. We're like, we're like this. So first one, for sure, summer fishing. This is my favorite bait. I mean, hands down, I don't care if it's like this and it's sunny. Like you can see there's lily pads around me. This this bait will work right now. Like hot sun, it doesn't matter. Early mornings, late in the evenings, a frog is it's the best bait. So actually, you know, I'll tell you guys what. This is what I'm gonna do to make this video a little bit more informational and give it the old, you know, flare special is I'm going to go over quickly, go over the the rod, the rail, the line that I would use for 
these uh, every single one of these baits that I talk about. So for the frog, I use the obvious, the Flares Frog and Flipping Stick made by Favorite. That will be, everything also will be linked down below, like the rod, the reel, the line, the baits I'm talking about, everything will be down below as well. Uh, but I use a 7.3X Heavy Flares Frog and Flipping Stick made by Favorite. The reel, I like a faster reel, like a 7-2, seven 7-5, to two, seven to five. not like crazy fast, but like decently fast. Uh, and then 50 pound braid. You can use 60, you can use less, but generally 50 pounds is the best because you can get the best casting distance and the best strength. So that's my rod setup, I guess, for the frog. For the second bait, we've got this guy right here. This is a walking bait known as a spook. Um, different sizes, this is kind of like a junior size. This is probably like my best all around size, but I will throw bigger ones than this sometimes. But the reason why I choose this over maybe like the Plop Daddy, the Popper, the, uh, the Buzz Bait, any of those baits, the reason why I pick this one is because Yes, you can go down the bank on some rocks and catch fish with this. Like that's generally what you can do. But you can also chase schools of bait. Like when you're on big reservoirs and there's shad and bait fish and crappie and whatever, and the bass are busting, this bait will work really well. Versus like a buzz bait is like, it's okay for schooling fish. Like it'll work, but generally something like this will work the best. It looks just like a wounded minnow. And, uh, but you can also take this on weed lines, kind of on the edge of pads, along rocks. It's like, in my opinion, the best all around bait. If you only had one top otter, this would be the one, in my opinion, to, uh, to, to cover kind of all the bases and catch the most fish. So for, for a bait like this, I actually, I, I'm using a, a lighter rod, uh, more like a medium. So like probably like a seven, two medium rod, something that has some flex because you want to be able to cast it super far if you're chasing school. And then I'm using, you could probably get down to 40 pound braid with this, maybe 30 just to get some extra casting distance on it. Um, but I would recommend, you know, stay in that 30, 40 pound braid. And then for a reel, generally you want something quick because when you're twitching it, you're basically just picking up slack the whole time. So you want to make sure that like when the fish hits, you're right there. Like you can just, you can just crank on them right away. So that's the rod and the reel and the line set about use for that bait in particular. Now we're moving on. That was the top water. So I picked two top water baits for summer. Now, this is the moving bait of choice. And uh, we'll just classify it as a crankbait. I mean, I would say deep crankbait, which this guy runs like 12 feet. But, I mean, if you're on a pond, then that's kind of useless. So I would just say crankbait in general, because again, the fish are gonna be schooling up. They're gonna be feeding. It's post-spawn, it's hot. And uh, this is one of my favorite baits to use. It's just, it's something that dives down, fishing offshore rock piles, humps, stuff like that. So for something like this, I would throw 12 pound fluorocarbon. That's my, my go-to line size. You can go down to 10, you can go up to 14, but 12 generally gives you the strength you need and also lets the bait go down as far as possible. For the rod, the longer the better for deep crankbait fishing. So generally like a 7.11 would be ideal. I use the 7.6 um, just because like I don't like carrying around a 7.11. It doesn't fit in my truck, it doesn't fit in my boat. It's just, it's too big. But a 7.6 a seven six is pretty good and like a medium heavy. You want something with a soft tip so you can really launch it, but you also want something with a backbone because you're making long casts, you gotta make sure you get the hook in them. So that would be my third bait of choice for my top five summer baits would just be a crankbait in general. Now, if you're fishing shallow, grab a square bill. And if you're fishing deep, you know, get a crankbait depending on how deep it is. But for the summertime, I absolutely love crankbait fishing. It's one of my all time favorite things to do. So that is number three. So now for number four. And uh, so now we're done with top water and moving baits. Now we're going to the slow, you know, dog days of summer baits the old Mondo. We're going with the 10 inch worm. Uh, you can go to like a seven inch up to like maybe a 12, just a curly tail worm, you know, just a big curly tail worm. It's slow. It's uh, it's for like lethargic bass in the summer. And uh, this would be my soft plastic of choice. Honestly, I have caught fish flipping, like a uh, flipping a bush with this thing does work. It's not practical. It's not the most ideal thing. You definitely want to use like some type of like creature bait, like crawl, but for an all around and catching big fish in the summer, a 10 inch worm is my favorite and color wise, you know, I didn't really go over colors on any of this stuff, but you want to match the hatch. I mean, if the water is somewhat clean, you want to throw some natural stuff. If it's dirty, throw some black and blue and uh, for your crankbaits and just, again, just match the hatch. If they're feeding on shad, throw, uh, throw like the white colors and stuff like that for a rod reel and line setup. So imagine that I'm throwing this in trees, kind of like I'm in now. I would throw probably like a 7.2 uh, heavy to maybe medium heavy depending on how thick the brush is. And I would do 17 pound fluorocarbon for sure, nothing less, maybe even 20. And then I would do a pretty fast gear ratio reel because you're, you're kind of doing like a flipping and pitching deal. So anything 7.1 and above for, for reel. So that would be my rod setup. Again, everything would be linked down below. I'll put like maybe like a couple rods that I would use, like different series of favorite rods that I like using, but that is bait number four. So last but not least, this is gonna be kind of more generic in in the sense of finesse fishing. I'll show you my, my all-time favorite, but for in the summertime, sometimes like on a day like today when it's 
absolutely slick calm. It's really tough to catch fish. So I go with a shaky head worm. And uh, you guys have been seeing me throw like the Nico a lot and the Ned Rig, but in the summer, a longer worm, a long worm like this that's gonna be staying up on the bottom, shaking around, it's gonna play a huge factor in catching fish. Uh, what I've noticed, I guess a good tip for you guys is when, when the ice thaws, you wanna start small, and as the time goes on, like as the, the water gets warmer, then you go bigger. And like as soon as the post spawn, as soon as the spawn happens and you're in post spawn, you go even longer. So start small and get longer. So like right now, if this was in the winter, I would be throwing something like that long. But now that it's summer, throw, throw the full size. Throw some big baits in the summer, guys. I'm telling you, that's tell you'll catch some big fish. So for this guy in particular, I would go with a spinning setup for sure. I would do like a six, six to seven foot medium. Uh, some with a nice soft tip, but with, with some backbone. Because I mean, that's a, that's a pretty decent stout hook. A lot of times you're fishing in rocks, sometimes around brush, stuff like that. So you want to make sure that you've got a decently stiff rod, but you also want to make sure it's super sensitive because this thing's going to be just crawling around the rocks and you're just going to feel one light peck. And that's going to be the fish. So for the reel, like a 2,000 to 2,500 size reel is my go-to with 15 pound braid and a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. You can go lighter. I know finesse is not 12 pound, but for me, day in, day out, when I'm especially I'm fishing in rocks and brush 12 pound I've got plenty of fish with 12 pound leader I haven't had any issues with being too heavy um, but I wouldn't go much lighter than 8 pounds and I wouldn't go much heavier than, than 15 but 12 for me is my go to so those are my top 5 baits for you guys we've got the frog we've got the walking bait we've got the crank bait just kind of generic but mainly a deep crank bait we've got the 10 inch worm and we've got this deal here so like I said at the beginning guys this is not like a only these 5 work I mean I didn't include the plopper, I didn't include the buzz bait, I didn't include any flipping baits really, I didn't include any, I mean there's chatter baits, spinner baits, I mean all those baits work but I'm just, I wanted to make this video for you guys so you know, I know a lot of you guys are on a budget and uh, I like making these kind of budget friendly videos so if you don't have a ton of money to spend on tackle and you only want a few different baits and cover all the bases, all the baits I told you guys, you can literally go to any body of water in America and I promise you, you will have a very good chance at catching fish with one of these five baits that I just went over. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure you smack a like on this video. Let me know, drop a comment down below what you wanna see next. If you enjoyed it, if you did, I will keep doing these. I'll do the, the fall, the winter, and I'll keep these guys rolling. So if you guys enjoyed, please do let me know because I was almost thinking about not doing this. So again, if you enjoyed, let me know. Uh, but anyways, everything will be linked down below, including Mr. Jackbox. You know, do a favor, you know, be, be nice, be nice to your father. He's, he's, I'm sure he's done a lot for you in your life. So do yourself a favor, do him a favor, go check out Mr. Tackle Box, link down below, they're running a they're running promo, so it's the best Father's Day gift, I'm telling you what. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys, really do appreciate the view, peace!